Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about precision mechanisms and how to automate it. So if you go ahead and look up precision mechanisms, you'll see that we have the sequence right here of a small cog wheel, large cog wheel, and then an iron nugget. And then at the bottom it says repeat sequence five times. Okay. So we need to do this sequence five times. So we could set up something, something like this, which takes 15 deployers, 15 hoppers, 15 chests and or drawers, a very long sequence, right? We could do it like this and it would work. It wouldn't have to be recycled around. It would just go straight through and at the end it would be done. This to me seems like an absolute waste of time and waste of resources. So I'm gonna show you what I came up with. So this is what I came up with. Um, I'm gonna call it a recycler. So it actually just kind of spins it around into an item vault until all five sequences are done and then it picks up the complete ones in this chest. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. So everything you're gonna need is inside this chest right here. Again, wrench and goggles are optional but make it a lot easier. Go ahead and grab everything out of the chest. The area we're using is eight by 11. All right, so we're gonna start out by two from the edge and then we're going to skip one and then we're going to put two okay we're going to connect that with belts all right after that belt we're going to go ahead and place two right here and place a belt on that one okay we're going to place one and then we're going to skip one and place two connect to that with belts and then we're going to put two right here and you're gonna have to change the orientation of that one and boom just like that in the middle of the belts you're gonna put a vertical gearbox vertical gearbox and then a gearbox place our barrels down just like that but real quick only a small portion of the viewers on my channel are subscribers if you'd like to help corny bread man rise to the top you too can help by smashing that like button and think about subscribing it's completely free and it helps me grow thanks all right, after your barrels are down, go ahead and right across from this vertical gearbox, go ahead and place your deployers looking straight down the belt. Go ahead and put your item vault down right in the little junction and then place andesite funnels all the way around your item vault and then one on your barrel. Grab out your brass funnel. We're gonna put that on the other barrel. Now you're gonna put hoppers into the deployers and then barrels on top, just like that. All right, this is gonna be weird, but you're gonna stand on this barrel and look at your deployers and then place it so that the shaft is going the same way. We're gonna grab out our encased chain drives. We're gonna place one right in there. This is gonna power our press and our deployers. And then we're gonna look up and we're gonna place it right there. This is gonna be connected. And then right at the bottom where the belt goes in, use a vertical gearbox and a shaft. And that's gonna connect it all together. That way, when you power this right here, it's gonna power everything. Just for explanation purposes, I'm using a create motor. So once you put your ingredients into your barrels, you're gonna just throw one iron ingot in there and let it go through. It doesn't matter the speed that it's running at because there's no filter on this barrel yet, so it's gonna catch every one of them. So go ahead and grab out your filter and then just place each sequence in there except for the last one, right? So we got the first one. Now we're gonna go after our chests and we're gonna drop this one. It's gonna go back through. Now it's the second one. six out of 15 now we need nine out of 15 and then 12 out of 15 this is just four of them because the 15 out of 15 will be the completed precision mechanism okay so put all four of these in there and then hit deny list very important and then it will pick up all the scrap and all the complete mechanisms okay so put that on there and once that's on there you can put as much gold in there as you want and if you want to speed this up, you can have it running extremely fast. And as you see, it's not picking up anything until they're complete. So it's going to keep recycling this through the item vault. And then whenever they get complete, then it will pull it off. If you enjoyed that video and you found anything helpful, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I really appreciate your time and thanks for watching. Have a great day.